Welcome back YouTube. Today, new exhaust for the Hondont. Um, obviously, if, as you heard in the startup bid, there was like nothing. We ended up putting a factory GSR in, or, uh, exhaust manifold on. Um, our aftermarket exhaust that was already cobbled together on this when we bought it, it didn't reach the factory one. So I bought this and then I realized how long this piece was. So we just ended up buying a whole new cat pack. We ordered this from Yonaka Motorsports and I already opened it. As you can see, I was anxious. Um, but they've included some really nice beanie. They included a t-shirt. Um, question though, Yonaka? Not many people are mediums. It might have been why I was thrown in a box, but uh, it's a great shirt though, nice quality. Um, it'll fit my son. Uh, beanie's mine though, that's really nice, I like that. You get a fancy license plate bracket. But the piece de resistance is the exhaust. So this is the three inch catback, right? And the factory I think is two and a half. So you get this adapter. It goes from the factory to the three inch. Really nice, the welds look good. You know, I mean, they're really nice actually. So let's hope it fits as well as it looks. Then the middle piece is just a pipe. Obviously everybody has seen that. I chose this because I wanted an actual muffler. I didn't want, I didn't want a fart can or whatever the Honda guys call them. I wanted a muffler with a tip, and that's what I got. So I'm really hoping that it fits up well, and I'm hoping that it sounds good. Uh, other YouTube videos, it sounded decent. So I mean, it's a Honda, so you gotta be careful with what you put on it, otherwise it sounds like a can of bees. So, all right, we'll cut to uh, putting the resonator in. While I'm putting this cat delete resonator pipe in place, Heather, my wife, is going to show you the differences in the exhaust besides the three inch versus two and a half or two seven five or whatnot. <laughs> okay, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but um, yeah, so you can see the two different ones here. You can see how tiny the little bitty muffler is and how tiny tip is <laughs> and you can see here when you do see the tip a few minutes ago so now you can see the difference in the muffler here and I'll just show you here so yeah that's pretty much it So yeah, you can see that the different the size of the muffler itself, huge difference there, and the tip's gonna be a whole lot bigger as well, so that'll allow a little bit more flow there. So. Obviously, we need these hangers. Well, maybe if there was some, well, I guess that can's garbage. Well, that was worthless, but, Okay, let's see if we can find some more lubricant. Lubricant goes on there and uh, makes it easier to get the thing off. So I'll be back and we'll see if I can find some lubricant. All right, YouTube, let's try this again. Oh yeah, someone there, huh? So what this does, it lubricates. All right, go figure. Makes it easier for these to come off, usually. Now, they do make an actual tool for this. It's just kind of hard to do one handed. There we go. Alright, these, since they're already lubed up, much easier to go on than off. 
It's like a handlebars. <laughs> and then, I can ride my bike with no handlebars. Can't sing. Oh. Copyrights. Sorry. Jeez. I suck at this. <laughs> so if you want to follow me back here, right there, I'll go ahead and put the back section on. Right there. So this essentially look like that. Much better. And you can see, I don't know if you can show them that, but the old exhaust was actually melting the bumper because it was oh yes the yeah. tip was literally pointing like right at this it wasn't even sticking out underneath here so Ooh, see. look how pretty that looks in there Ooh. not a bad muffler i mean it's not it's not no two thousand dollar grady system um i think total price was like 300 300 bucks i think shipped so that's for the cat back obviously it's for the sedan specific um because the rear sections are the only parts that are different for the sedan to the hatch. And I do believe this rear section is the same rear section they use on the Civic. But between this and the Integra hatch, the only difference is the rear section on this is a little bit longer. That's it. The rest is the exact same. Okay, so we finished up the exhaust on the Honda. We got it running, we fixed the idle issue, ended up being the idle air control valve. I don't know if we can see it right now because it's not. Let's see if I get some light on that. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways. See that I had to add I had to add about six inches of pipe um, I'm not sure if it's from missing more of the factory exhaust or whatnot but she's all in there and welded up uh, I went with a GSR manifold all cleaned up uh, not a hundred percent oh cleaned up the headlights they look a lot better. This one had moisture in it. Might have to put some rice in there to get it out. Ha, ah, rice. Um, I installed a lip. Looks a lot better than it did before. And then, do a quick start up here. And this is the Yonaka three inch. Cold start, obviously. Hey Austin, you go do a couple bat baps. it for now I also ordered new I guess these Integras have a bad issue with leaking around the tail lights so I ordered those new gaskets they go in behind here um, other than that this is all going to get fixed when we do the uh, the bodywork and paint make it look nice other than that she's good to go and then I want to come over here and get an update on uh, Austin's hot rod mobile. He is, uh, we found out that this wheel bearing is bad, right, Austin? Both of them are bad. <laughs> so, got those in there. Nice little, little racing seat here. He has fun with this car. You check out our Instagram, newspeed underscore. We have more, we do a lot more updates there. And this will knock out this video. And then we've got two or three other videos 
But you didn't notice we're in a new space. That's what took us so long. So, hey Austin, if they're new to the channel, what do they need to do? Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, something like that. Yeah, and let us know. Let us know, comment. Let us know what you'd like to see more, less, what we're doing wrong. Point us out. If we mess up on something, let us know and tell us because we may have overlooked it. We may have, you know, done something. But yeah, like I said, like Austin said, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you like. See ya.